Okay, so we're going to look at how to add local storage to your ESXi host um, and add a data store. So if you've added an iSCSI uh, storage target in our previous tutorial, we're now going to learn how to um, add a data store to that storage device. Um, so I've just logged into the host here, um, and you need to click your server on the left and then go to the configuration tab on the top here. Um, if you haven't added a data store yet, uh, you can actually do so by clicking on this bit, but for now we're not going to do that. Um, if you've added additional disks and they're not showing up here, what you need to do is risk scan all um, and then you should be able to see your disk in the bottom here. I've got two disks, um, the one which my host is installed onto which is the 2 gig disk so I'm not going to pop it there but I've got a spare disk which is a 10 gig disk um, which is the one I'm going to install it on. Uh, it should be under this SCSI Dual Ultra 320 adapter down here if it's plugged in locally. If you can't see it here and you're running on a RAID adapter or something like that, it may be because you haven't got the um, the driver for that installed correctly. Um, if you just put straight SATA storage and you've plugged it straight in, most of the time it's going to pick it up and you should be able to see it here before we continue. Um, so if you can see it here, like I can here, you can see the 10 gig one. We're then going to head over to storage on the left. Um, we were in storage adapters. And then we want to add storage at the top right here. So we're going to click on add storage. Um, you get a choice of disk and LUN um, or network file system. If you want to create one that you can um, pop a virtual machine straight onto, the best option, um, the one easiest to work with is disk LUN. So for now, just stick to this one. Um, so press next. Also, if you're using iSCSI, you're going to want to be clicking on the top one as well. Um, now you get a choice of your uh, different directories. You can see I've still got my iSCSI one for the previous tutorial here. But this time we're going to use the local disk. So you can see local disk and the capacity 10 gig as well. So I'm going to select that and press next. Um, most of the time you're going to want to choose um, VMS, VMFS5. Um, it's, it's got all the sort of latest stuff. Uh, there's no real reason to select an older one um, unless you're using older versions of ESXi. So um, carry on with version 5. Um, you can just get an overview of it here now. It's actually going to show you how much is available. Because it's not using any for the partition, I'm going to get the full space available. Um, hit next, and then you're going to enter your data store name. Um, I'm going to call this data store, um, sorry, my first local data store because it's local storage. If you are at iSCSI, you may want to call it something like that. Um, just this is just for um, reference for yourself. After you've chosen that, just hit next, and then you can choose how much of the storage device you want to space and um, choose for this data store. Um, most of the time you might want to select, um, for local storage you're probably going to just choose all and then you can pop as many VMs as you want on the data store. If you've got iSCSI target you may want to have multiple um, multiple data stores per um, iSCSI storage. Um, though you may split this up on the volume and have different targets for this as well. But for local storage I'm just going to go ahead and press maximum available space because most of the time it's all you're going to require. And hit next. Um, you can expand that later. Um, and then it's going to give you an overview and you press finish. And that's all there is to it, to creating a data store. Um, you should be able to see it here. You can see my first data store. You're going to be able to see how much space you've got. And if you right click on the data store here and you can browse it, um, you can then actually see what's in your data store. As you can see at the moment, it's completely blank. Um, in the next tutorial, we'll work on um, adding stuff to your data store um, before we go ahead and create a VM. I uh, hope this has been useful. Thanks for watching. And um, if you like my video, subscribe.